Hey guys, welcome to a new English video and this time I will show you how you can unlock some shader units on the AMD RX 460 cards. So those are um, pretty much the entrance level um, gaming cards you can get from AMD at the moment. Performance wise, um, they're quite okay for the price. Actually RX 470 has a much better price performance ratio. Still, um, if you have one of those cards, um, one of the uh, AMD RX 460, either the ASUS Strix or uh, the Sapphire Nitro, I can offer you a BIOS version which you can use to unlock the card. Um, so this is actually pretty nice. Uh, so there are two tools you need um, if you want to unlock your card. Uh, you can find everything in the description. Also, um, I put a written guide um, on my homepage where you can check how exactly it works to flash a card. Um, from my current point of view, I tested six cards in total, five of the Strix and one of the Nitro cards and I could unlock six out of six cards. Uh, so that's actually a good indicator that you can probably unlock all of them. Uh, I'm not sure obviously because I'm not really sure if they're locked for technical reasons, um, if some of the shaders might be damaged or if they just locked uh, to um, maybe slow down the card for some reason. I'm not really sure. Still, um, six out of six cards worked. I can tell you that five out of five Strix cards worked. So probably if you want to get one of the RX 460s and you want to have a good success rate for unlocking, you might want to consider to get one of those Strix cards. You can simply download um, the BIOS tool to unlock your card. So mainly um, it's, it's a zip archive, you unlock, uh, unzip it and then there is um, uh, an exe file in there which you have to run and then you can simply flash a card and the flashing process takes around 15 seconds. You don't even have to disable uh, the card in the device manager, just flash it while the driver is running everything. Totally fine, totally easy to do. After the flashing process is done, just uh, simply restart your system and well, then you have uh, instead of 896 shaders, you have uh, 1024 shaders, which is an increase of around 10% and that's pretty nice, I think. Um, of course, the question for me was how much performance can you gain? So in theory, um, percentage-wise, the same as the shaders. Uh, of course, the clock comes into place as well, but uh, yeah. So the first thing I tested for you guys is uh, 3D Mic Firestrike um, GT1 test. Um, I tested the RX 460 Strix and also the Sapphire Nitro card. Um, I tested it uh, on stock, both cards and both cards unlocked and also the Strix card with a little bit of OC to see which, in which direction we go and then I compared it with a GTX 1050. So in this chart you can see that you gain um, from around 27 uh, FPS to 29 FPS on the Strix card which is a performance boost of 7% and uh, from around 27 to 30 FPS on the Nitro card which is a gain of around 9% by unlocking the shaders. Now of course I know that you guys love me for doing uh, so much synthetic benchmarks so uh, let's take a look on Witcher 3 as well. So the Witcher 3 benchmark was done on 1080p and with high settings. So with, the, with those configurations, you will end up at around 30 FPS, which from my point of view is, uh, well, not smooth enough, but on the edge of being okay to play. So um, uh, yeah, you can see I was running um, the benchmark with mini minimum, uh, maximum and average FPS and you can see um, if you compare um, the RX uh, 460 Strix unlocked and stock, you can see that I gained around 10% from unlocking the card. Um, for some reason uh, the gain for the Sapphire Nitro was not that big, it was only around 5-6%. to 6 Still. I think it's a very nice uh, performance boost you can get from simply running a, a different BIOS version. Um, of course, be aware that in theory, if it goes wrong, it can always borg your card, right? If you flash the BIOS wrong. Um, as I said before, six out of six cards work for me. So I think it's very likely that it works well for you guys as well. Um, ju I just want you to be aware that obviously, well, something can always go wrong if you flash your BIOS, right? Um, anyway. Uh, I think in total uh, it's very cool that you can unlock um, the shaders on the RX 460 and get a little bit more performance out of this card because generally speaking uh, the price performance ratio on the RX 460 is much better from my point of view because it's only around, at least here in Germany, it's around 60 euro uh, 
uh, more expensive but you get double the performance so I would rather pick the RX 470 but still if you have an RX 460 um, Strix or Nitro card um, feel free to use the BIOS version you can find on my homepage to unlock your card. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a like if you liked it, uh, if not don't do anything. Uh, I hope to see you soon, take care.